Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Reef Drama. Just wanted to do a little bit of an introduction really to myself um, and also to the tank uh, that you can see behind me. Now I have a Red Sea Reefer 425XL. I've had this tank for a little over a year now. Uh, I have been reefing for a fair few years, um, going up through from a, about a 180 litre tank, uh, running a canister on the side. Uh, I know, tell me about it. Uh, and then we moved on to a 250 litre tank uh, with a sump. So that was my first experience with a sump. Um, what I found with that was it was just too small, uh, couldn't really sort of fit the skimmer in, uh, uh, let alone you know maneuver stuff around in there to, to do tank maintenance, sump maintenance, clear it out, do reactors and all that sort of stuff. So quickly ran out of space. Um, and uh, yeah, I upgraded to this. So what I wanna do is just go through in a minute, a little bit more of an in-depth as to uh, the corals that are in here, the fish that are in here at the moment. Um, and going forward, I wanna be able to put some more rock into the tank. I need to put some more corals into the tank, uh, some LPS, some SPS, uh, maybe some more soft corals as well. Um, and uh, upgrade some of the equipment, which I will document, you'll see that on here. So we'll be doing a little bit of unboxing, we'll be doing some reviews as well, and then we'll more than likely be going back and doing like a three monthly or a six monthly update uh, on that particular equipment. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna throw up some photos in a moment, just of the actual build of this tank. Unfortunately, I never documented this. Uh, I never even thought of doing a YouTube video back then, and it was just a case of taking some photos. So I'm gonna whack some photos up so you'll see the build. I'll just sort of talk through it um, briefly, and then we'll get into um, what I've got in the tank. And then hopefully I will see you weekly uh, with more of my updates, more of my reviews, more of my unboxing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, and hopefully you're coming on for the ride. So stay tuned, and we'll get into the tank in a minute. Well, here's the start of the build. This is the unboxing. So we've got the sump and we've got the tank there um, all ready to go. And what I'm doing in the lounge is trying to put together the cabinet. That took a while, had pieces uh, pretty much absolutely everywhere. As I say, it's a shame that I didn't actually do this as a video, but we've got these steels at least, so it's something. So that's your cabinet. And um, there it is there already uh, in position at the back of the lounge. Um, look at that, I hadn't even put the lights up on the ceiling yet. The tank obviously takes priority. Um, next up, we've got the tank is now sat on the cabinets. Uh, sump still yet to go in. Um, just leveling it all off now. Uh, luckily, we've got hardwood flooring here, so um, it does make it a lot easier to level. Very important that it is level, of course. And then we've now got the water kind of going in, heater, heating it all up. Got the RO water down on the right-hand side there in that little tank. Uh, didn't want to put that on top of the sump. That would have taken up way too much space. Um, so I'm not using the actual Red Sea Reefer float valve system. Uh, I'm using my, my own auto top-up unit, and I felt that that was going to be uh, better over there. Um, next up, the sump's gone in. We've got pretty much uh, most of the water now in the tank. Uh, most of that has come over from the old tank. Uh, and uh, next up, we'll be introducing the rocks, uh, the fish, the corals. They're getting acclimated at the moment, but the rocks went straight in. Um, and then once the fish and the corals and that were all acclimated, uh, I did have to go out and buy about 200 litres of uh, ready-made salted water to finish this off um, but uh, as I say got the drip acclimation there so that's all going very nicely um, so what we do now is just have a quick look at uh, what we've got in the tank well first up the star of the show really this is Piney my porcupine puffer as you can see he's making a complete mess in the tank um, but he normally does that whenever he eats but he's decided to have a go at this uh, algae that I've put in 
um, for the Angels. I uh, don't really know why he's chomping away at this and sort of spitting it back out again, but he seems to be having fun and making a big old mess. Um, he does actually eat the green nori. Uh, he'll literally rip a massive chunk off of that and just eat it. So this stuff, um, the red one, has got a bit of garlic in it, so maybe that's why he doesn't actually want to eat it. But he feels that anything that goes in the tank is uh, is pretty much fair game, and it's for him. Uh, even though, you know, sometimes it's uh, it, it's not. He doesn't eat the flake. Uh, so when the flake goes in off the auto feeder, he wasn't he won't eat that. Uh, he also doesn't eat the pellets either that go in off the other auto feeder. He's pretty much just literally mussels, cockles, uh, clams, um, and now apparently nori. Um, but uh, but he's my little buddy. Um, he is uh, such a character. Um, but uh, looking around the rest of the tank, uh, through all the mess of the seaweed that you can see floating around, as you can see, we've got a big finger coral in the middle there. We've got a mushroom toadstool, um, some pulsing xenia that doesn't really seem to pulse. Um, in the background there, we've got a big bunch of green furry mushrooms that the two clownfish host. Uh, they absolutely love those mushrooms. They've been in them for years. Um, not a great deal of coral really over on this right hand side which is one of the reasons why I want to do a bit more, do a bit more rock um, but you can see I've got some great polyp extensions on the uh, on the mushroom toaster there and the finger coral a little bit more pulsing xenia in the front um, we've got some purple mushrooms just underneath here uh, they seem to be doing quite well taking over that rock um, there's a coral beauty floating around in there somewhere. Um, his piney again, look, he's always getting in on the photo bombing. Um, we've got a Koran angel and a fox face, a rabbit fish fox face, and obviously the cleaner shrimp. Wouldn't be a tank without a cleaner shrimp. Well, of course, we had to finish off the video with a bit of uh, a little bit more of Piney, a um, little bit of a top down view. You can see him flapping his fins there like mad. Uh, it's a little bit like a puppy dog wagging his tail when he sees his owner. He's such a cute thing. Um, but anyway, that's pretty much it. Just going to wrap it up here. Um, hope you've enjoyed watching the video uh, and there will be many more to come. Um, please like, please subscribe, comment down below. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.